Okay, so I'm going to do a quick unboxing of the Zeus Dual RTA. Here it is, the packaging. You can see it says Zeus Dual. And I already opened it up. So on the back, here's the information. I want to pause it and read it. So let's open it up. And let's take this out of the package. Let's this to a slide. So I'm going to zoom in. So here is the Zeus Duel. As you see on the bottom, and the focus, it says Zeus on the bottom, all the information. So this is a uh, serial number designed by Geek Vape, and this is Zeus. And it has the logo Zeus right here, or the writing on the very bottom. You can see that. So you can take off the top cap. Let's just take it apart. So the build deck screws unscrews from the bottom. Here's your build deck. As you can see, that is your build deck. So right here is your airflow. Travels up through to the coils. This is your insulator. This would be your positive side. You can see that. Your reservoir would be down in the very bottom. So when you wick this, you guys, this new to wicking, you only want your wicks to sit right flush with this platform. If you can see that right there. So it has the Allen keys, Allen screws. It's got the gold 510, I guess it'd be gold plated 510. And it's pretty much it with the deck. You just sit your coils down in this way and you're going to have to pre-cut your coils so you're going to pretty much have to guess so that's your deck we'll set that aside here is your top fill cap let's just take this apart there's your glass and Here's your fill port. So you get two kidney holes there to fill up. Both sides are pretty big. And here's your ceiling washer. And you got an 810 drip tip. We can take this off. And there's your 810 drip tip. We'll just leave this off for now. It's got a ceiling washer on the inside, as you can see. This all seems to be machined out pretty good. This doesn't come apart. This all stays as one. The only thing that comes off is the airflow for cleaning purposes. It just pulls off like so. Just line it back up with the airflow. Push it down turn it so it only turns one way so it turns this way it's completely off same on each side they say that this uh, Zeus dual is one of the best so you open this side up you get a spare glass as you can see right there and you get a package of goodies So they inside the package of goodies. It 
they give you pre-made coils which feels like 24 gauge if I can get this to focus you can see that and there is one two there's six wraps on this one I probably won't be using these coils so I'm just going to set them aside Here's the other one. As you can see. Not much to these. These are probably better than what comes with the uh, RBA uh, by Smock for the X Baby. <laughs> um, they were pretty junky. Here you get a little tool. And you get three, you only see three spares. There must be more than three, there should be four. You only see three. You got an adapter for 510. And go back in there and you get all your little O-rings and stuff for your, your tanks and your glass. So let's get the deck. And we'll unscrew it. So right off the bat, this don't even fit one of the screws. Now I want to cut these, so they just sit down in there. You can almost probably do a wrap on these again too. That's what it looks like so far. We do not want it touching. If I could push it over a little bit closer to the air, as you can see, it could probably go over towards the air a little bit. This time I'm not going to cut so short. So this time, I'm just going to cut a little bit off at a time. deck to build on. By far one of the hardest decks to build on. So there's the build you guys. On this. These are Alien Claptons. It says new coil, some saying uh, 
Yes, 21. So it was 28.28. 28. So this is a 21.21 .21 reading, so I'm getting off these two coils. As you can see. So let's pulse this and see what happens. Get a little bit of a hot spot there. Let's take it up to a little higher. So we're at 38 watts. They are heating up evenly. This cotton bacon is really good stuff, you guys. I recommend you get it. This is the Cotton Bacon Prime. I did a review on this uh, with the RTA and the coils. There's no taste at all. There's no breaking on this cotton, you guys. This is really good stuff. That's a little better. Comb this out. Take some learning, getting used to this RB RTA. Building on this deck is going to be really tricky. Remember, guys, you don't want to push that wick way into the bottom. You want to pretty much just pass that level stage from where it goes down in. We don't want it too tight. No, you want to get your e-juice. You want to basically just put some e-juice on that. And you can form it to anything you want after you do that. Cotton absorb that. So once you get your juice on there, you can pretty much form this. And get it to where you want it. Okay, so this is what I have so far. Give me a 
close up look at that. And building this was very, very uh, complicated. Um, you don't get the right amount of wick in there. It's going to be very complicated. Let's zoom in. To get this to shape the way you want it, you got to remember, you guys, you don't want to go past the level right here. You just want to stay right along that level. So if you want to stick down in there a little tiny bit just so it's peaking, nothing special. And we are going to put this baby together. So there it is together. Put some juice in the top. Now I'm not going to fill this right up. Just in case I have problems. Don't want to waste any juice. Cover on. Put the drip tip on. So let's try this and see how it works. So let's give this a puff and, and show you what it's like. Oh, I got a lock. Wow. That's pretty good for the first time building off that, uh, that deck. A little tricky at first. It has really good flavor and it's wicking like crazy. Let me uh, take a couple more puffs and show you the wicking. Like you can see the bubbles going up there right now. You shake it and you know, the bubbles will up. I'll show you. I'll take some puffs off and show you the wicking. See the bubbles, you guys? That's wicking perfectly. There's not a thing wrong with that. That build is awesome. When you see that wicking like that, and you're constantly puffing off that, and uh, like I said, I'm set at 55 watts. No problem. If anybody's a first time vapor, the X Baby RBA billable deck is a really good deck and it's going to be easiest to build on than your Zeus Duel. Um, of course it's my first time uh, the second time will be easier of course so that's it new vapors go with the RBA X Baby 
build a deck. And then get yourself the Zeus because it is a good tank. That being said, you guys, later.